Last right, now one. turn with me to John 6. And we'll start with verse 27. Not 27, I'm sorry, excuse me. John 6, y'all got that part right? Mm -hmm. John 6, and I'm going to start with verse 47. It says, Verily, verily, everybody there? Mm -hmm. That word verily, everybody knows that means truly, truly. Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me hath everlasting life. 48 says, I am that bread of life. 49, Your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. Mm -hmm. This is the bread which cometh down from heaven, that a man may eat thereof and not die. Talking about himself, isn't he? Mm -hmm. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. So he's saying unless we partake of him and eat of this bread, when we partake of him and when we eat of this bread, we're going to live forever, right? That's right. Now what is that? That's when we saying. partake of him. Is that what I said? Yep. When we, when we eat the bread, which is his body, partaking mm -hmm. of him, uh, it's, it's just a metaphor for, for partaking of his kingdom, yes. his body, his, yes. his word. Okay. Verse 51. I am the living bread which came down from heaven. If any man eat of this bread, he shall live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, mm -hmm. which I will give for the life, life of the world. Of the world. Verse 53 said, Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Except you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Amen. Now how can you eat and drink something that you don't know about? How can you eat and drink of someone you ain't met? How can you eat and drink of Jesus if you don't know him? You can't. Because if you know him, you've met him. If you haven't That's met right. him, how can you eat him? Right? And I mean, Amen. I'm just saying, does that make sense to anybody here? Yeah. Except ye eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Whoso eat of my flesh and drinks of my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. That means when we partake of Jesus, right? That's having a relationship with him. Am I understanding that right? That means when we've met the Lord and we're living the life that he expects us to meet because he tells us there's some things that we have to lay down, right? Mm -hmm. You know, there's lasciviousness and there's murder and there's revelings and there's debate yeah. and there's different things that God's Lying tongues and all that stuff, yeah. That's what it talks about, dying out to the flesh. Okay. I'll raise them up to the last day. I read that, didn't I? Verse 55 says, my, my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. See, if we don't eat, we'll die. In the flesh, if we don't eat, we're going to die. If we don't partake of God spiritually, we're going to die. You know, that's why we come together in church every Sunday, to partake of the bread of life. And we do it. We take of the meat indeed and the blood indeed. Verse 50 says that he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. Now, if you eat his flesh and drinks his blood, we agreed one ago, didn't we, that in order to do that you had to have a relationship and fellowship with him, right? Amen. And it said, if you eat my blood, if you eat my flesh and drink my blood, Let me read it again. He that eateth my flesh, verse 56, he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwells in me. So we got to know him in order to dwell in him, right? That's right. Is that right? We can't partake of something we don't know about, right? Okay. Dwelleth in me and I in him. As the living Father has sent me, and I live by the Father, so he that eateth me, even he shall live by me. That's what I said earlier. Remember, I'm... I'm, I'm going to heaven because of the blood of Jesus Christ and the work that he did on Calvary and by his grace and by his mercy, not nothing that I've ever done worthy enough to go. Okay? Amen. And it goes on, it says, this, this is the bread which came down from heaven, not as your fathers did eat manna and are dead. He that eateth of this bread shall live forever. Amen. I'm going to go ahead and read verse 63. Skip down there with me. And then we're going to move on just a little bit. And I'm getting out of the way. 63 said, It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. See, there we are back again. To Amen. the presence of the body of God. Right? It's the yeah. spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they're spirit 
and they are life. Now, let me read one other place. Come on. Come on, bro. Find it. Y'all help me out here. Okay. So, lower, brother. Okay. Turn with me, Doug. And then I'm going to read this and I'm going to sit down. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Now, y'all might say it differently, but I take this as face value. This is my conviction. You have your own. Okay? I'm just going to read what this word says. Nothing am I going to put in here that's not in here. Nothing am I going to make up. Nothing that I think. I'm just going to read what it says. What's the chapter again, brother? 11. Okay. 11, okay. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Yeah. Everybody there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 24. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Amen. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, to say, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we shall not, should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man's hungry, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. See, it's not about filling our bodies. It's about taking of the body of Christ. And if any man hunger that he meet at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation, and the rest will I set in order. Amen. I'm done. God bless Glory you. Glory to God. Thank you very much. Amen.